Hello everyone Eurovision fans across the world. We are here today uh, from ESC Norway with one of the hottest acts in this year's Eurovision. Uh, that is uh, DJ Lumix and Pia Maria from Austria. And uh, their song Halo is just one of the best. It's a real adrenaline popper. So thank you for joining us today. How are you? Hello. Hi. <laughs> so, thank you for having us. We are, we are fine, I would say. Yeah, we're good. Excellent. Thanks. Good to hear. So it's almost a week now since the release of Halo. How has it been? Amazing. The feedback from uh, everyone around has been super nice, super, you know, engaging. Everyone is happy about it. Mia, Pia, everyone. And uh, people love it. People yes. love it. It has uh, yeah. nearly 1 million streams on Spotify. Uh, more than half a million views on YouTube. I don't know, 600, 700,000 already. Um, yeah. All the comments are positive. So I'm super happy with how, yeah. it's, you know, how it's going. Yeah. The support so cool. is amazing, really. Isn't it great, though? Yeah. Yeah, we had some artists yeah. last year talking about um, this Eurovision love that is kind of special, that, uh, that the audience of Eurovision is so dedicated and so supportive almost to any song even if maybe people don't like it it's like it's that, a part of eurovision that's the point um i haven't mm -hmm. released a eurovision song yet and i you know i always see it in genre so yeah electronic yeah. pop whatever mm -hmm. me eurovision is a genre because it's yeah. a it's a community they you know it doesn't matter if it's hard style or rap if it's good and they like it they can accept it and that's the cool thing about eurovision yeah it is it's one it, that's what makes it so um, magical, I would say. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, Luca, you are a DJ, and I know that you started with music uh, very early on. Yes, I'm a DJ and I'm a producer. I don't see myself as just a DJ. I'm more like no. an artist. Mm -hmm. uh, because DJ just is, you know, the guy that turns knobs, and that's not yeah. it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I started with 11 years uh, with my first uh, music production. That's in fact, um, I started with production earlier and then went on DJing when I was like 16, 17. And I had this uh, program called FL Studio. It's very common. It's the Most of the people that start producing is like, this is the starter program. And uh, I got to use that one. And I got to upload a few songs on YouTube and SoundCloud. And um, eventually one of them blew up and then I signed and now I'm here. <laughs> Excellent. And Pia Maria, how was your journey into music? Um, I always loved music. Like when I was a child, I already sang the till I can think about. <laughs> so um I wrote a song when I was 15, and there someone came up to me and I always tried to make up with him something. And then he one day he called me and said, yo, Pia, I got something for you. Go in the studio and try it. And that was that song. I really didn't expect it that it will really be here then, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's how I came to it. And I'm really, really excited about everything. <laughs> that is so cool. But um, originally you're a makeup artist? Yeah. Yeah, but in a theater, so not like mm. beauty thing. I mean, I can do that too, but mm. like not blood like thing beauty. and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some crazy mask. Yeah, how cool! So, did you um, did you know uh, Luca? Did you know about Pia before or? Actually, it's a, a funny story because uh, we never worked in the same studio for the song. Um, because of COVID mostly, and uh, I was in Milan, in Italy, and she was in Tyrol, in Austria, and uh, we just sent uh, the stamps back and forth, so the individual audio files, you know. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's how it came along, and then we first met in person at an internal video recording session in, I think, December? A few, yeah. few months ago. Mm -hmm. Do you think you will uh, cooperate some uh, somewhere in the future again? It's very likely that we will uh, be in the studio together in the future. I don't know if we ever mm. going to release a song or in the near future we ever going to release a song. But, you know, the thing about music is that you never know. Mm -hmm. You exactly. by accident write, you know, 
a big yeah. anthem and you're gonna release it if you never come up with anything you just go on she'll go on with her project and uh yeah. we'll both. sure so what are your thoughts about eurovision in general is that something you know you're a bit younger than me uh is eurovision a great thing yes it is mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I always watched it when I was a child. Like, I really <clears throat> did followed the whole thing, and yeah, so I was a fan since I was a child. Yeah, especially um, this year and since last year, I think your vision is uh, very, very cool and important. Especially this mm -hmm. year, with you know everything going on in the world. Yeah, your vision is unity, is music, is emotions, and I think that's what we need. So I love your vision. Just exactly to... maybe more than ever i would say i think, I think mm. this is gonna be one of the greatest of all time yes um do you have any special eurovision memories uh, favorite songs artists i mean um <coughs> yeah you want to start um lena maya landrut i don't know if you know her uh satellite she yeah is... yeah yeah i really love that song it reminds mm. me of my childhood Yes, that one in here in Oslo, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I was uh, yeah I was volunteering that year, so I was in the in the stadium when she won. It was Ooh, cool. quite an experience. <laughs> that is so, that is sick. <laughs> and no, I'm I'm pretty obsessed with ABBA and Waterloo since yeah. they made it so big, and it's mm -hmm. all stuff Eurovision. So that's an aspiring story. I would like to. Pursue. Yeah. Cool. So, what um, this song "Halo" that you have? It's really energetic and it's full of adrenaline and good energy. Um, what is your thoughts about the song? Do you have um, s some special meaning to it? I mean, uh, we try to do something very, you know, energetic and. <clears throat> rightful just because of the fact of the situation that we're in right now our generation and everyone in general we have mm. been locked down for two years no party no fun no social you know life and uh, yes. we thought this could be the perfect soundtrack to go along with everything opening up again you know no more masks you can yeah. go out again clubs opening and we thought this could be the perfect song for this just you know we are the halo with the music and the rest goes goes yeah. along goes out with ease and um i think we nailed that one pretty good Happy yes. about yeah. we want to push the people now to go out and to live again to do things what they like what they love and what they maybe forgot about you know mm. but they can do that again and we want to push them yes such a good idea. Do you have any ideas? Maybe you can't tell too much yet, but do you have any ideas or thoughts about how you want to do the staging? Because you, were, you weren't, uh, like here in Norway, we have several finals and we have a um, ready stage show already that we can just either pick up or take down, but you were picked out, so you didn't have that um, yeah. chance to show it in advance, but... As you already mentioned, uh, we are not allowed to say anything on that note. No, uh, but it's all <laughs> a little bit. Right? <laughs> not the first one to try. I can say <laughs> we will be both on the stage and we won't mm -hmm. be naked. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> Such a shame. No, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure it will be uh, excellent uh, either way. Yeah. Um, do you have any plans uh, outside of Eurovision? Uh, do you think forward? How are you going to? um yeah, pursue music i, I want to do my songs then and i mean i'm not really an artist yet who knows who who is known you know i mean i just started mm. and i really want to invite my people to listen to my music and to invite them to my world i am also a very emotional singer mm. and so i really love when i can touch the people with my voice and mm. this song is very powerful and like yeah come on let's do something but i'm also the other side you know but i really mm. love both of them but um yeah i will release some songs then and try to make my some uh, my music as well then 
Excellent. Can't wait. And Eurovision is such a great opportunity for showing yourself to the world. Yeah, for sure. Actually, to the world. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> it's one of well, the biggest stages. So it's really the best business card ever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, yeah, yeah. My, on my hand side, I will, um, of course, uh, go on tour. Mm -hmm. um, I will be in Norway, I think. I will be in Norway. I, I don't have it in my in my head right now, but mm -hmm. I think I, I know Finland for sure. I don't know Norway. And You um, should come. Let us know and we'll I, be there. I, Front I would row. Love, <laughs> I, would love, I would love to. I'm, I'm already pretty booked for the summer. I'm excited. I can finally tour. I was on hold for two years now since... Yeah. I have uh, so many songs already to drop afterwards. So, you know, I was two years just in the studio producing. So, yeah, it's around about 10 to 20 records that I <laughs> still have to, to put oh. out. I, I don't think 90% um, of them will ever see the daylight, but uh, the one, the five to 10% that will are mm -hmm. super nice. Already so excited for, the, for those to drop. And uh, yeah, let's see how we're going from Eurovision. You never know what happens. Yeah. After. You never know. And uh, how is your process of writing music? How do you go from, oh, I have an idea to finish a song? Do you work mostly alone or do you take in other people? Me or? You yes, I can ask both of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so for me, it's like I, I mostly do it on the piano. So I mm -hmm. start to do some chords and see what, what sounds good. And then I just start to sing what I feel and what I think about. And maybe sometimes it doesn't make that sense, but then I do it again and I do it again and I do it again. And then, yeah, again. I got it. Mm. <laughs> and then I started to get in a flow and then it's the, 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 the chorus and everything starts to get in it. I don't know. I don't have to think about it too much. It's just all the thoughts in my head. I can put them out i don't mm. know exactly yeah. for me music has always been the way to express myself as she just said yeah. so it's less the lyrics since i'm a producer you know it's not that i'm like expressing myself it's more the mood so if mm. i'm like not feeling that good it's like more minor chords and sad vibes if i'm feeling super energetic faster upbeat you know it depends on how i feel and um I mostly write uh, in a group with more people because I love just the session jamming, you know, even mm. if we don't have any outcome, it's just a nice way of interacting with people. So instead yeah. of going to a bar, if I have a friend over in Milan, I would be like, yo, let's go to the studio, maybe have a beer and just do music for fun. Yeah. And that's the greatest thing about being a musician, basically, I would say. Exactly. Because when you're with other people, sometimes the energy just flows so good ideas just yeah. pop up mm -hmm. exactly uh pia do you write your own lyrics to everything would you get help um not to everything but um also P uh, songs i'm about to release in the next time is also only mine song yeah so, yeah but i also love to mix it you know i love to get input from someone else and that they say, yeah, you could change something there, but I don't want to lose my way, you know? Mm, exactly. Keep your own voice, your own. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, about Eurovision, do you um, take a lot of thoughts on the odds and that kind of things? Do you feel like that is important? <laughs> Um, personally, I would say no, because, um, the odds that I'm here already are like zero and I'm still sitting here having this interview about Eurovision. So yes. I'm like, um, we do know that this year's has, you know, some special situation going on in the mm. Near East, yeah. which will be probably uh, leading up to a different outcome. But as we already said in other interviews, it's about, you know, unity, love, peace. And if it helps that, for example, Ukraine will win this year, mm -hmm. I'm more than happy because I would rather much give them the win and change something in the world than having, you know, mm -hmm. money or anything else. Because in the end, I can't buy nothing if there is war or 
anything else going on in the world. So exactly, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm not much into the arts for that no. reason. Peace is much more important. Than... Yes. yes, it is. Have you checked out uh, your competition yet? Have you heard any of the other songs? We did, we did. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I would like to give the wolf a banana. <laughs> no, <I'm> yeah. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll take that banana, yes. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm very, very excited actually because I think this year is going to be super strong. Like actually yes. great competition, mm. um, great artists, you know. Um, Wikipedia, Eurovision says that you send the hardest, ar hardest artist at the moment to Eurovision. Yeah. And I think a lot of countries actually did this year. Yes. Yeah. Just speaking of Italy, Blanco is the hardest artist at the moment. Mm. I can confirm that. And also Malta has a super nice one. San yeah. Marino, also a strong one. Mm. Uh, Spain, super strong ones. Uh, I think, I don't want to, you know, but... I'm one of the most interesting of my country as well at the moment. I yes. was just looking at the numbers. So mm, everyone yeah. was trying to put a nice competition in there. And I love that because I would love to know all those people. And I'm so excited for all the staging and songs, life, everything. Yeah. Super excited. Oh, I'm so jealous that you're going to Turin and see all the people and going on stage. And oh, it's going to be amazing. Yeah, I'm um, so excited about that too. To connect with them, you know, so excited. Yes. Oh, one of the best things in the world to connect your music. That is yeah. really the best gift ever yeah. uh, to give to people, to be able to perform, connect with your songs and your lyrics and, mm -hmm. and the beats and bringing people together, really. So um, I'm sure it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, actually, I don't have any more questions. I feel like we had a good talk now, and yeah. uh, perfect. Thank you for uh, for being with us today. Thanks for inviting. Um, thank you for the interview. And I wish you the best of luck in uh, Turin, and yeah, um, hopefully, it's a good placement for you. I'll I'll thank be cheering. You. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, and have a nice day. Have a you nice too. day. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye.